Hey right, guys, how's it going? Almost done with all these parts. Um, this is the piston for this 86cc build. It's like a Hemi. Um, machine in the lay looks pretty good. Let's see, here's the piston rings. A 23 thou uh, thinner. You use this piece of uh, exhaust pipe. Yep. So you get in a lathe. Er, it works. Works pretty good. I just use my set my Dremel up on the lathe. Worked out real well. Let me show you these piston weights. Okay. Now this is a stock 390 piston. Okay. 110. With this piston. That looks worse than it is because I ground that down just a little bit with a uh, bit that I made. So we're good there. 95 grams. Okay, so it's 110 and it's 95. That's a good bit of weight savings. I want to get this little bit. I might get into grinding them down because here's a. 660 piston. See the difference? You might save a couple grams, maybe five if I thin these just a wee little bit. I might have to do it too much, just, just enough. So I want that around 90 if I can get it there. Okay, here's the cylinder. Okay. That's the intake all filled in with JB Weld. Um, Yep, I had to raise that roof up a good bit. This ain't quite... My parts, this, my cases ain't quite all the way done. I have so much time to work on this stuff. It sucks. But, what are you going to do? You know? So, transfers, I got them raised up a little bit. They're about 126, 127. This intake, I got it set to about 79. Exhaust, I got it to about a hundred. I'm not gonna get too crazy with polishing it. I want to see what this thing does. But uh, yep, it's pretty good there. Um, here's the cases. Let me see. Now right here, when you grind that, that uh, a little thinner, I thought. So I filled that in with some JB Weld to give it. A little bit of gasket uh, area. Same thing up in there. Okay. Let's see here. Now these are, I matched them just because. Matched up pretty good. I, it's not all the way bolted yet, but so you're losing. Like if I wouldn't have filled that in, and about that much that's not uh, utilized. I got to finish this surface up a little bit. Let's see if I can do this better with this side. Hope it ain't freezing rain out there. I'm gonna be in trouble. <laughs> be able to get home just uh there we go yep matched up what I did there yeah whether it matters or not I, I still have to finish this surface up a little bit get a little better looking I thought like to see what's going on. Yeah, I'm gonna. These are the Farmer Tech bearings. They're coming out of there. I got SKF bearings. I got 
highway seals. I got an NWP crank. So that's going to be a pretty good saw, this one. The 86er. Yep. I'm not real hurry to get it together. I mean, I'd like to see it run, but, uh, yep. Hey, guys. Give you a little update on what I'm doing. And uh, these, believe it or not, these... You know why your uh, lot of your oilers don't work? It's that. See that paint on that duckbill valve? She spray that down with brake clean and open it up with a wire a little bit, and it should be okay. But that's why a lot of times your oilers don't work in these. I'll, I'll go over that when I start putting this together. But, uh, hey guys, next time, keep feeling the heat.